Hello, I'm Dr. Robert Hardesty, a board-certified plastic surgeon practicing in Riverside, California. The name of our practice is Imagine Plastic Surgery. Our motto is One Goal, Many Options. Today we're going to be talking about how to choose the correct size and shape of your implant. Size of implants vary, just as breast size varies. Some women would like to be larger than other women. The analogy would be some people like to drive Hummers, some people like to drive sports cars. Some people like black cars, some people want white cars. So how do we do this? Well, let's start here with the basics, sizing. The first thing to do is to go out and buy three bras, full bodied, no padding. What do I mean by that? Three bras, full padding, fabric, but no padding. Because bras are not, have not been standardized, it makes it more difficult to say what a B, an A, or a C is. All I know is a B is bigger than an A and smaller than a C. Frankly, I don't care what size bra the patient wears as long as her breasts are the size and shape she likes. So how do we start with this? You bought the three bras that you think you want to be. You can save the price tags to take them back because you'll only be using this for one morning to size. So the easy way to start is the following. You get a measuring cup. Old ones have uh, ounces, new ones have cc's. One ounce is equal to 30 cc's. Breast implants come in cc's. So how do you do this? You put rice in a nylon, you get the right amount of rice, you then put it in the nylon. Then you'll go ahead and take your breast, put it underneath, and you'll go ahead and look back and forth. You may go a little bigger. So you get a bigger bag of rice versus a smaller bag. Now what happens if you have asymmetry, one breast being smaller than the other? You start out with a small bag. Okay? You take that small bag and you put it underneath. Now you know the difference between the two. And then you can go ahead and try to highlight the size that you would like to be. Okay, that's how to do it at home. How do you do it if you come into our office? What we do here is we lovingly call this our treasure chest. These are not the shapes, but they're specifically designed for size. For instance, this is a 150cc implant. This one here is a 550cc implant. So if you wanted to be 700ccs, we'd put the smaller one in here, we put this in, and then we have stretch bras and we have uh, uh, blouses that you would put in to take a test drive. This is a way to test drive here in the office. This is a little bit more accurate than the rice trick but the rice trick works very well. Okay, so now we've got the idea of the approximate size that you want. What do we do next? The next thing that we want to talk about is getting the correct size implant shape-wise for your chest. These implants right here, all three of them are the exact same volume. This is low profile, this is moderate profile, this is high profile. If I'm the manufacturer and I want to make this a high profile, all I do is take the base and I make it narrower. Now the bottom implant looks like the top implant. So what do we do? We measure your chest. I want to give you maximum cleavage but no implant in the armpit. So what does that mean? If you're a wide body and I put a high profile implant, you're not going to get as much cleavage. If you're, a, if you're narrow chested and I put a low profile implant, great cleavage but implant in the armpit. We want to measure the implant so it fits at the base of your breast so it gives the best cleavage without having the implant in the armpit. Okay, in summary, we've talked about two things today. Number one, how to do the sizing. One is doing the rice trick. Three bras, full body, no padding. Use rice and a nylon. Try on some of your form-fitting tops to see how they fit. Number two is the 
shape of the implant. Low profile, high profile, moderate profile, and now even ultra high profile. That will be based on the volume. We'll go to the charts to pick the perfect implant for you. Thank you very much and look forward to seeing you soon, hopefully.